Howdy folks, Justin here. Welcome back to another video where we're testing out one of the new cards that's been released with the Madhouse um, Chaos Arena expansion. We're trying out Stone Shard Orc. We have here a deck list on the left. It is a pile of orcs. It's as good a starting point as any. We're going to see what we can do when we're packing all these orcs. I'm running Blackworm Necromancer because I feel like um, creatures are high enough value that bringing them back to life with a uh, Blackworm Necromancer could be pretty useful. Running two Burn and Pillages uh, because I think the card's still pretty good. Uh, and in fact, being cheaper might make it better in some respects. So I'm excited to check that out. Also have uh, Gortwog because he's cool and I never really get to use him. And finally, the card I'm actually most excited to play besides the uh, Stone Shard Orc is the Wood Orc Headhunter. Excited to get a 5-4 charge for 5 out. At least once or twice. Playing against Vilix Corinthia. Playing Assassin, he's untouchable. And, uh, yeah, um... We're going to keep Wood Orc, Orc Headhunter. I think it's just really strong. I like this curve. I think Withered Hand Cultist should be pretty good against Assassin. Hail, friend. Hail. Greetings. Yeah, so we can actually go you won't escape Defender alive. into Cultist into Butcher into hopefully another 4 Magicka card. Dark Rift. Okay. Um, we are, are, are going to put the Cultist actually in a different lane. Over. And uh, see if we can't <clears throat> delay whatever his plan was a little bit with that. I like putting this over here because it can test whatever he might lay down there a little bit. A nimble ally, okay. Mercy. And it triggers, okay. So we have one orc in play right now. We only have one more elixir use. So we're going to let this perish. We're going to Drive lay down him and swing for four. Omen for you. Uh, getting this out of lightning bolt range. I mean, it's going to be hard for him to lightning bolt this anyway, but it feels pretty good. And now next turn we have the opportunity to wood arc headhunter or bankerite butcher. It looks like he's just going to... Slam that into there. The Ooh, well, it looks like we're going to get some Stone Shard Orc value then, which is super exciting. Can't combo that with any other cards, which is a little road. sad, but all, still all pretty good. And we will put you that over there. Alright, so Wood Orc... I'm oh, sorry, Stone Shard Orc putting in some serious work there. Doing two damage... Killing a creature with two toughness. School Racketeer. Okay. So let's Rothgar Kingpin into Bankerai Butcher. And then follow up with Wood Orc Headhunter next turn. Come on then. Entertain me. I don't think we get punished for putting all these creatures in the same lane. There is strength in unity. And then we, uh, yeah, we charge in with the Headhunter, unless we need to silence something next turn. Again, usually anything over 4 toughness, Assassin has trouble dealing with. Might be able to shackle it, I suppose. Okay, we get a Prophecy. Burn and Pillage. Okay. That could be pretty good next turn. Or in two turns, I'm sorry. Because hopefully we get a Smash in for quite a bit next turn. And then we'll mop up with Burn and Pillage the turn after. So that'll go there. Won't kill it though. This one offers something tasty. Okay, another Skooma Racketeer. That card's doing some good work for our opponent. Now we could just break two runes and kill all those creatures except for that. How good is that? I mean, we would go face. So let's see, let's make sure we don't have lethal. We have 15 on board, 16 actually when that triggers, so we could just kill him. Let's see what happens when we do that. This gives us the opportunity, if we don't trigger a prophecy, to uh, 
If we do trigger prophecy, I'm sorry to burn and pillage for four. Steel and stone. Tuskers will pay the blood price. Sweet. Okay, so this game we got to see Stone Shard Orc in action, which did a great job. We got to see Wood Orc Headhunter in action, doing exactly what it uh, is supposed to do. You know, it's a better Cliff Racer, a better Pterodactyl, and Pterodactyl's a great card, so. Well, not great, but solid, kind of irreplaceable in a lot of respects. Let's play one more game with our pile of, warrior, pile of Orc cards. See how we do. Um... You know, I'm not running any one drops. I feel like it's kind of a trap to run one drops in this sort of deck. Um, you saw sort of how quickly th these cards escalated. Uh, we're only running two Fire and Defender because it's not great, and we're only running it because it's an orc. I mean, I guess it is a prophecy card, but we're not really interested in prophecies. Playing against Andre Kai, playing Archer, so it should be interesting. Throw all these back, go for some two drops. Okay, no two drops. We do have Cultist, not an Orc, unfortunately. Stone Shard Orc, Earthbound Spinner. Okay, so pretty slow hand. It's be an interesting match. I anticipate us getting run over, actually, with a hand like this. Hail, friend. Hail. Greetings. Okay. Well, looks like our first play is going to be Withered Hand Cultist. Banker Eye Butcher is not bad on curve without an orc on the table. I mean, it is four attack. It does ramp up our Stone Shard orc. Whatever this is, though, we'll contest it with Withered Hand Cultist. They cannot hope to outwit okay. me. That's fine. So we're gonna fall behind in the life race, unfortunately. The alternative play here is. Orc kind captain into Stone Shard Orc next turn, but I think I'd rather just develop the cultist. An Earthbone Spinner that before we hit it, if we want. Although it's not real exciting. It's a rapid shot. Okay, so we're going to take control of the board next turn. And we'll do that with two orcs, so we can potentially stone shard orc something for three next turn. A dark omen Prophecy here would be fantastic too, of course. Ooh, alright. So we actually have a lot going on here now. And we have a stone shard orc hitting for four next turn. Which seems really solid. Or a wood orc headhunter if we want. So he needs to take advantage of his life total now because we are about to hit him for nine. I guess he's still gonna. Well, we're gonna be tied. Okay. Tied for life total then. If he just drops a blood dragon, that would be pretty good against us. I think if he drops blood dragon, we drop the butcher and just go face. I don't know. Playing aggro, I'm not, you know, playing aggro decks is a little outside my comfort zone. You know, if you watch this channel a lot, you probably saw me play the Monk Pilfer deck last season um, to some success, but, uh, oh, I'm so sorry, man. Oh, that rapid shot does hurt. That does hurt. Um, anyway, you probably saw me play the Monk Pilfer deck last season, but, um, Yeah, aggro just does not come naturally to me. So next turn, we can trigger Blackworm Necromancer, bring back one of these guys. Which seems pretty good. If we draw a two drop, I think the play will be one of our four drops, just so we can make best use of our Magicka. I love this new discard pile. That is pretty sweet. Andre Kai's the Master of Mirrors. That's a cool achievement to get. You have to have three copies of the same legendary creature in play at the same time. Um, you know, the easiest way, even though it's not super easy, is, you know, it involves Wisp Mother and Ungolim. But, um, yeah. wonder how he got it. That's a cool... I, I don't have that title. I'd like to get it. I think maybe sometime in the next month we'll do a title hunting week. Where we spend our time trying to collect titles. Okay, so... We hit him for five, we're tied in life, so I can't grab the, um... I can't get Blackroom Necromancer off. 
So what if we just go face play Bankride Butcher? How good is that? That's not great. We could trade this guy in, play Bankride Butcher. Not break a rune. He stays ahead in life, but yeah. Steel and stone. That's gotta be the play, I think. Come at me. Seven five for four magica, not bad. Of course, at six magica, you know you can get seven five worth of stats from uh, other things, but our magica costs just aren't lining up right now. Any two or three drop that we draw would let us have a pretty explosive turn. Otherwise, <laughs> just ooh, it's gonna be a finish off on our bank ride butcher. What have we here? I assume. I mean, this is slow rolling it. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, I really want a two or a three. Perfect. This is perfect. Um, I think we, so we gotta break this room, because we need to push that damage. And then how does Wood Orc Headhunter feel? Hmm, I think we just play the Stone Tooth Scrapper. Keep that for later. And then, again, hopefully we can get some uh, Earthbone Spinner, I'm sorry, Black Room Necromancer value next turn. What do we want to grab back? The Butcher would be great, the Stone Shard Orc would be nuts. That would be a good 3 for 1, potentially. My scales okay. Shadow. Okay. Play your Blood Dragon. Wow, okay. Wow. So wait, let's let's think about this. This is a ton of damage. If we play this, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fourteen damage. We have two twos we can get back, one three. The only car Stone Shard Orc back would be nuts. The card we don't want back is Butcher. Yeah, I think we gotta go Militant Chieftain. Been too long since I've embraced my rage. Not bad. You Play that just to get that on. beefed up more. Runt. Come at me. Move that to guide me. negate potential Leaf Lurker value, although it looks like he got himself a Werebad for a if I fall, Fighter's Guild recruit. That's all right, though. We still have a ton of damage uh, available to us. We have Earthbone Spinner into Wood Orc Headhunter next turn if we want to. I anticipate this goes there and that goes there, which leaves us seven on board there. Swing that into that. and pillage this lane. What is the plan here? Let's heat things up. Scoven Pyromancer into the leaf like that. Right? No. Okay, so our opponent's at 13. Okay. This is gonna hit for six, seven. 14 in that lane alone. Enough. Come at me. By the egg, a fine they will the blood All right. Well, I think we just beat. I know. I mean, Archer's tier one. I. Th Orcs seem pretty good. Okay. Well, there you go. That is my first look at an Orcs deck. That took me, I don't know, five minutes to uh, throw it together. Um, maybe we'll do some more Orcs this week. We'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're having as much fun as I am with all these new cards. This, you know, this is the most fun I've had since uh, Hisgrove dropped as far as new cards go. Uh, I look forward to seeing you all on the ladder. Thank you very much. Have a great day.